Hi, my name is Glenn Monroe, and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this video, on I want to show you another Evernote app that's kind of neat, and this is more tablet-based. So we're going to start off here uh, on Evernote.com, and again, they have all these different uh, things down here. I'm going to focus on Sketch, but before I get there, just just some of the other ones here: Evernote Food. Click just come to the website and click on these and check them out. There's videos on every page kind of giving you a flavor of what they're for. So if you like to take pictures of food and put recipes with them, that's what Evernote Food's for. Evernote Hello is very cool because it lets you, uh, you put it on your iPhone, you're at a function, I take your picture, hand you the phone, and you type in your phone number or email address. Then when I get back and say, oh, who was that person I was talking to? I, I click on your picture, and there we go. You don't have to remember names necessarily, because if you remember a face better than a name, that's hello. Web Clipper it is the same as Evernote, clearly as far as how you install it. What that does is that lets you capture an entire page, just an article, or just a link to an article. So there's different things you can do here, but I want to show you Skitch. When you click on Skitch to install it, it's going to go here and you can install it on um, your iOS, and so that's iPhones or iPads, Android, or Mac. These are the options here. I got mine through the iTunes store. So let's go and take a look at what you can do with Sketch. Okay, in this video I'm going to try to show you how the app works off my iPad screen. Um, to do this I'm drawing upside down, so let's see how we get there. The Sketch app, when I go here, there are four options. And I apologize for any glare. Let's hope you can see this. So I may want to choose a photo. And so I go to my Saved Photos and I find the one I want. So the photo loads in, and I've got a little tablet along the bottom here. The first one is the arrow. I can choose an arrow and draw it. There we go. I don't like the color of that arrow. I want it to be yellow instead. So I click on it here now, and let's see. It is now yellow, thicker, or thinner. So I can decide exactly how I want it to look. I can move it after the fact to wherever I want to point at. Oops, let's Delete that one. There we go. So this one here, you have it's pretty intuitive. I can choose to draw a shape around something. Choose the shape of it. There we go. And I, again, you can choose the thickness of that shape that you're working with. Select the object, oh, color and size. So we have that. Um, if I want to just write on it, highlight something. Here we go. Look. You can draw a line. If I want to blur something out, it's a person's picture and I want to hide the face, you can simply select the range and it picks, that takes care of the pixels on that. If I want to put text, click here. Where do I want the words to go? And there you go, and return. Done. So you can type what you want there. The last thing is cropping. I click on the crop symbol over here, and then I just select the range I want, and that's it. So very easily you can annotate and resize and adjust here, and then if I um, save this, it's going to shoot it over to my Evernote account. So let's discard that one. That's choosing a photo. Drawing on a map, I want to give you directions to my place. Now let's go find it. So I'm in Moncton, New Brunswick. Go as deep as you want to go. Once I have where I want to be here, so I'll just choose this. I'm going to snap a picture of it. Now I've got that and all the same features. Oh, let's try this again. Everything else is the same. So it just lets you make all the annotations you want to annotate. And then you can save it and it will go to your Evernote account. I'll discard that as well. Starting with a blank, if you just want to draw something, you want to have a template. Capture from the web. You go to a website. So here's my Brain Diesel website. Let me just come in. And again, all the same annotations I want to put on there. So that's the one I want. Take a snapshot of it. I can navigate through there as well, same as any website, and again, all the same annotations. 
If you're one of my email subscribers and you would like to be in this week's draw for a free class, simply reply to the email with what you see on screen here. If you are not one of my subscribers but would like to be, and you've just come across this video, then go to braindiesel.ca, click on the uh, envelope, and you can sign up for my newsletter there. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye now.